So this week has been non-stop. From eating bad sushi, driving an hour out of Belgrade, to, be. <laughs> to go to an awesome winery, of course Maria bought wine, to a last minute drive to Novosad for a night market. Why? Because we love meeting friends, viewers, new people. We're addicted to you. But that's not the only reason. You can actually fill this pride within Serbian people, and we wanted to know more about it. So we ask. We are here in this unique place, you know. So I really wanted to share that with you, to feel the taste of Serbia, to feel the hospitality of Serbia, to meet some local people here. So I think I'm really proud of that. I had a great time in Spain. I had a great time in Cuba and everywhere where I traveled. So I really had a great time, but I never had that feeling that I'm at home. So I'm happy to travel all around, but I'm also so happy to come back because of that feeling I'm at home. I think that many people are proud of being Serbian because they know a lot about their history and they know how their grandparents, for example, fought for their country and for everything they have today. And uh, in our country, it's emphasized that we had a lot of hard times in the history and wars, because it's true. And despite of that, people somehow see good things in their everyday life and in lifestyle, even if it's not perfect, of course, even if the economy is not so developed. But somehow, I think that those kind of things like family, and uh, close contact with people are the reasons why we are so proud of our country. And of course we have a very interesting cultural heritage. And uh, I think that people here really want to protect those kind of monasteries that, is from, that are from like uh, Middle Ages. And when you have that kind of cultural heritage, you have to know that your country really has a value and that you survived a lot. So basically today you have to offer many different things and to say, yes, I'm Serbian, I have Rakia. Did you hear about that kind of monastery? Did you hear about that battle? Yeah, my parents survived that, you know? So I think that is one of the reasons why people here have, here have that kind of a feeling. It's more than just a feeling. It's just something that you have to be here to experience because I'll be honest, I get super excited just walking around here and seeing it because there are people that just come up to you and ask you, how do you like my country? Or invite themselves sometimes to our table and just want to sit down, have some drinks and food and just talk about travel and share stories. I absolutely love to hear people being so passionate about their country and talking with all that energy because I'm the same way. So when I meet somebody that is like that, I get like goosebumps and everything. But anyway, if you want to know more about this country, check this video. Muchas gracias.